Hi, Saints Nation. Uh, here with Coach Hafner. Um, Coach, just had National Signing Day last week. Uh, it's always exciting here in North <laughs> Florida and Florida State yeah, and yeah. Tennessee and Alabama, et cetera. We're all doing, but we had a huge, fun day for a William Penn. It sounded like yeah, the fax machine was going off all day. It was. It started, well, I got here at 7.30 that morning, and we already had received some faxes from uh, guys in Eastern Standard Time. So right. we were we were pretty excited. We, we had a good feeling uh, going into the day that, that sure. we were going to sign quite a few kids, and um, you know, by one o'clock, I think we had all but two of our uh, letters of intent. So, so it was a great day for us. We feel really good about uh, the class that we signed, and mm -hmm. uh, it was sure fun in the office watching all the facts yeah, roll in. Yeah, definitely. Is that something that I mean? Obviously, it was a lot of sports do that, um, football, namely. But do, do a lot of kids just want to wait till that day, or is that also a thing that? Uh, for the most part, kids want to wait. You know, they, they may have some or... teammates signing somewhere else right. or, or different things like that. So. Sure. Uh, instead of having the coach set it up two or three different mm -hmm. times, they all just do it on on the national day, and sure. uh, you know it, it makes it fun for the kids. Yeah. You know, yeah, it definitely. gives them. Uh, typically, there'll be some family members and some mm -hmm. things like that 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 they're are there with them when they do that. Sure. And, uh, so you know, it's a big day in their life. I mean, you know, sure. they're deciding where they're going to go for the next uh, four or five years, and, right. and uh, it's a big decision for them, and, sure. and it's a, a culmination of you know probably a lot of time spent on visits and things like that. So. It was an exciting day for everybody. Right, definitely. Um, you guys had kids from all over, like normal, William Penn style. Um, but uh, namely, 13 Utah kids. Um, we kind of talked about that before, but give that spiel again and how that, you know, a lot of credit goes to a couple guys. And Well, it sure does. Overall. And, and you know, in the past, we've had some, some great players from, yeah. from Utah, definitely. specifically the Salt Lake area. Right. Uh, so we decided this year that, you know, we would go test the waters again and, sure. and see what we could do. And uh, so we sent Coach Destream and Coach Stewart uh, out there for three days. Uh, they each visited 12 schools in those three days, uh, had a parent social um, informative meeting on Wednesday night and then came home on Thursday morning. And, uh, you know, it, it, it was one of those things where we weren't sure how it was going to turn out. Sure. But, but the kids visited with their parents. They, they came to our campus to see what we were all about. Right. And almost to one of them said how, how impressed they were with, uh, you know, not 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 just the football part, but with how everyone treated them when they sure. got here. Sure. And so, you know, a lot of credit goes a lot of places. The academic yeah. uh, side of what we right. do, we bring them in every weekend, and and they have an opportunity to talk, and and they do a fantastic job of selling majors sure. and, and selling the university in general and selling themselves. And um, you know, we we had nothing but positive comments from everybody when they left. Right, definitely. Um, Sioux of Iowa kids, uh, Nate Penveld, Heisen, um, right here, right, that's right, okay, yes, uh, here in town. Um, so, you know, keeping it local as well, but, and again, like I said, all over the place, um, noticeably, and not to say take anything away from the states that we hit, but um, people will probably say, why no Florida, why no Texas, why no California? Well, I think that, you know, We'll, we we recruit Texas after the signing day. Sure. Um, uh, Texas is so recruited; it's yeah. hard for us to go down there before then right. and really think we have a shot at some of these kids. You sure. know, their aspirations are quote bigger than us. Yeah, and, UT uh, or in uh, right, you know, and things like that. And that's <laughs> yeah. okay. Yeah. Um, but we go down there um, after the signing day. Sure. Uh, they have a big recruiting fair down in the Houston area, so we yeah, just right. got back from there. Yeah, I saw that. Uh, yeah. And so you know, we'll, we'll hope to add a few Texas kids. Um, why not Florida and California? It, I don't know. We, we don't have maybe have the manpower to right. do it. You know, we pr do yeah, some of that. States, so. Right. We we do some of that over the telephone, and sure. um, we do have some players on our team from those states. Yeah. Um, but typically they're recruited via telephone and, right. and, and things like that. So, um, you know, we, we want to be blue collar. We mm -hmm. want to be a lot of things. And in order for us to continue to, to build the tradition that we have, we have to continue to recruit the Midwest very well. Yeah. And uh, if you look at our list, other, you know, with the exception of Utah, because, right. um, you know, Utah's we did still sign, the Midwest. Well, hey, we'll, we'll take that. <laughs> we'll say they are. I mean, it's the same type of player right. that we're looking for. Yeah. Um, but I think we did very well in right. Iowa and Illinois and Missouri. And uh, we got into Nebraska this year some. And, yeah. and so, um, you know, we feel really good about our recruiting class and where those kids come from and, and what they represent. Definitely. And obviously, like you said, still more to come. So, yeah, 50-some right. and, and more. And that's just, you know, that's just part of the, the yeah. game for football. It right. sounds it, like a lot of kids, it, but... It does. It, and, you know, we're, we're trying to reach a number. We have a goal in mind yeah. that we want to reach. And, sure. um once we get to that number, doesn't mean we're going to stop recruiting. Right. But you know, at that point, we'll slow down significantly, and um, you know, we still have to field 
uh, enough players for a JV team, and mm -hmm. we have to have an, enough to to build some depth on our varsity team. Right. And and wait, I, I really think we did that. We feel really Definitely. good about where we're at, and our, our the young kids coming in. Uh, you know, if those young kids stick together, it's it could be something special. Oh yeah, there's talent all over. Was there a certain um, area that you guys were looking at? It looked like you hit in every position uh, sure. well, especially the offense and offensive line, defensive line, probably the. Um, the most numbers. Um, is there any, like I said, any need for the team? There was. Um, you know, we went out and and sought some some D two, D one, double A secondary players. Sure. Uh, of course, we didn't get them all, right. um, but we did get a couple. Sure. And so, you know, we'll have some kids that come in the secondary, maybe a couple in the offense and defensive line, like you said, mm -hmm. that will have an opportunity to come in and, and be, uh, you know, ha have a shot at getting some playing time and be a key backup and, right. and things like that at those positions. Um, but, you know, we, we targeted some secondary kids that we thought were maybe out of our reach a little right. bit. And, and when it was all said and done, we got yeah, lucky. Sure. And so, um, and we worked hard at it, but... Uh, you know, we'll see. You, you never know yeah. until they get here. Yeah, until um, you see the whites of their right. eyes and what they actually do on the field. Right, yeah. and, and, but I think that if you can project based on what we've seen in the past and things like that, I really think that some of these young men are going to be very talented and, and, sure. and, and, uh, and do very well at Wayne Penn. Right. Did that have any uh, impact or did the move to the hack have any impact on the type of players you were looking at? Obviously, we come from a very strong conference. Right. Um, but moving to the, the hard, you know, or teams throwing more, running more, or are you looking for a type of a player to to be successful there? Very good. I think that the players that we've been recruiting uh, to be competitive in the mid-states sure. will suit us well in the heart of America. Yeah. I think that we're not going to see anything truly different than than what we've seen right. in the past. Sure. Uh, you know, you're going to get a good mixture of some power football mm -hmm. um, with some of the teams in the heart of America. You're going to get a good mixture of some complete spread teams sure. in the heart of America. And so uh, we've faced all that before. Right. Um, we feel good. The only thing that we haven't seen is an option team, mm -hmm. and we will see one when we move to the heart of America with Peru State. I was going to say uh, Peru State. Right. right. And so, so that'll be something a little different for us. You yeah, know, we get to that. see it every day, mm -hmm. but um, but seeing it live against somebody else right. is always a little bit different. So. Um, but I feel good about you know the the type of players that we've recruited, the type of players that we've been recruiting sure. uh, to fit very well in the Heart of America Conference. Sure. Um, real quick, change gears to uh, spring football. Just a couple weeks down the road, you yeah. guys will be hitting hitting out there again. Um, you know, what are you looking for in spring ball? What are you trying to improve upon getting ready for next fall? That, that's a good question. We lost some really good players. Sure. You know, we lost uh, you know offensive line, defensive line. Um, we lost some guys in the secondary, so we're going to have to do some things a little different in spring to to try and develop you know right. some of our players in the secondary. You know, we may have to get out some practice cards and, and run, you know, a different type of seven on seven. Instead of just throwing what we do, maybe we'll have to get into some situations sure. and and use the scout team against our defense to try and get them some different looks and okay. uh, some things like that. But for the most part in spring, you're trying to develop some depth. Right. Uh, you try and get some of your younger kids a lot of reps. Yeah. Um, so when the fall gets here and you, you have to teach the new kids, yeah. uh, those kids are, have already been yeah. through it. And a they, little can, bit. they can help you teach. Right? Absolutely. Okay. And so, you know, that's, that, that's where I think that, that spring ball helps us the most. Our right. off season has been going fantastic. Yeah. Uh, our, our attendance at uh, mm. weight sessions and morning workouts and study halls Great. has been fantastic. And yeah. I'm proud of our kids. You know, we, we have to replace some good players, like yeah. I said, but we have some kids that are really stepping up and, and are ready to become leaders on our football team. Sure. Um, have you guys pinned down a date for the spring game? Just to already talk about that. April 25th is a Saturday. We'll do yeah. a Saturday yeah. morning at 10 o'clock. and. Yeah. Uh, out of what Lacey. we're yeah, yeah out at Lacey, and what we'll try and do is we're going to try and do it a little. We'll have a little barbecue or something cool. after. Cool. Um, so we're we're in the process of trying to get all that set up. Right. But but um, we'll have some plenty of recruits come back to see that, right. and we'll re, re, uh, we'll invite them back, and um, you know to give them a look at you know what, what who we are and Definitely. what we're all about. And um, so yeah, April twenty fifth I think is a Saturday. We'll yeah. yes. we'll uh, we'll go at ten o'clock in the morning, and uh, um, you know we'll in spring ball that way. See what you can. All right. Yep. Cool. Well, thanks, Coach. Appreciate sitting down. Looks like a great class and, and more to come, so good luck uh, finishing it out. Yeah, thank you. And, um, again, I, I want to thank the, the faculty and, and everyone on campus. Uh, you know, Kieran Admissions was 
are there every Saturday morning for us to, to talk about different things. And right. so, you know, the, I, I, I inevitably, inevitably am going to leave somebody off. Yeah. But, um, but thanks to everyone that helped us because it really made a difference sure. in, in helping uh, some of those young guys make their decision. Sure. All right. Thanks, Coach. Thank All you. Right. Yeah.